Hey, good afternoon, good afternoon. I am going to be fixing real quick a broccoli cheddar soup, okay? Yes, it's quick. Take all about 30 minutes or so, okay? So let's get started on this broccoli cheddar soup, y'all. Now, what I'm doing, I'm taking a couple little shortcuts here, okay? I'm gonna put potatoes in my broccoli cheddar soup, all right? And y'all, if I move y'all, please forgive me. Yes, I got somebody behind me, I'm sorry. But I got my, I'm gonna put potatoes in there. So I've already got my potatoes cooking, okay? Cause I don't wanna wait for them to cook uh, in the soup itself, okay? I just wanna be able to put them in there. We're gonna use some broccoli. Uh, I'll show you that. I've got about three, four cups of broccoli potatoes, I've got some carrots. Okay, let's take a look at what we're putting in here today. Yes, all right. We're gonna fix this in our Dutch oven. I'm gonna go ahead on, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna put some butter, just a few tablespoons of butter, y'all, okay? Get this started. And in our butter, we are going to put a little bit of onions. I've got some onions here, and I've got some fresh garlic. And I'm going to get y'all in the pot so y'all can see. Okay, I'm going to stop those potatoes in a minute. Let's get in the pot. All right, you can see I have my carrots here. And what I did was I took a, a peeler, like a potato peeler. I peeled my carrots, and then I used that same potato peeler to shred them. Okay, because I wanted my carrots thin so that it doesn't take them long to cook and that they are done. Okay, so I have my butter. That's about a half stick there of butter in that pan. We are going to drop just a smidge of olive oil. Okay, I've got about a fourth of a medium onion cut up. I didn't want a whole lot. You use as much as you want. And I've got three cloves of garlic. I wanted quite a bit of garlic in here, okay? And we're gonna take and we're gonna drop this down into this butter. And olive oil. Let's get it all, y'all. Let's get it all. Okay, and we're gonna let that do its thing just for a couple of minutes. We will. Yes, we want all the flavors to come out of that onion and that garlic. Okay, so we're going to just let it go for a couple of minutes. And y'all, you know what else? I'm going to drop my carrots in here. Let's drop our carrots in. See, I got them sitting right in my face, y'all. So I won't forget. And now the, the, the carrot that, that I have left. After shredding, I'll use tomorrow somehow in my dinner. Okay, that that those carrots will not go to waste. I'll finish shredding them and put them in something that I'm fixing tomorrow. Maybe some cabbage or something. So we're gonna let this cook, y'all, and let these carrots cook just a couple of minutes. All right, y'all. So these carrots have had a chance to cook putting a little color in the bottom of that pot. So what we're gonna do now, and they have softened, y'all, and that's what I wanted. We're gonna add some flour. I got three tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna use about two of them, okay? All right. We use two tablespoons, all right? Just depends on how thick you want your soup to be. That looks good, y'all. Let's add the rest of the flour. Okay, there we go, that's three. Now, we're gonna let this flour cook, you know that, just for a couple of minutes, all right? Cook some of that floury taste off of it. Right? See how quick this soup is coming together? 
and and just just continue to stir you know every few minutes stir your pot y'all if you could smell this those onions and garlic is wonderful if I had some time y'all I'd stick that in here but I don't and it's all good so let's give this I'm going to turn it down to right below a medium, okay? Let's give this flour another minute. And this is how simple it is to make broccoli cheddar soup. If you don't want the carrots, don't put them in, all right? If you don't want the potatoes, don't put them in. I want this to be just a little bit heartier for us because we're not having meat with this. It's going to be soup and bread. And I'll show y'all the bread that I have here while we're waiting on that. I just went out and got a baguette. Okay, and I'm going to take it. I'm going to slice this. I'm going to put some soft butter on it. And I'm going to put it in the oven. That simple. Okay, until it browns. That's it. I'll flip it. Once it brown on one side, I'll flip it. Put a little bit of butter on the other side. And let that brown. Look at that beautiful roux there with those carrots in it, y'all. Look at that beautiful roux. I've taken my potatoes off of the stove. I've drained them. They are pretty much done. Is that gorgeous or what, y'all? Look at that. Let me show you. Okay, I have my broccoli here. I haven't showed you that. I took a whole head of broccoli. I cut the florets off of it, okay? I tried to keep a little of the stem. I didn't want to get rid of all of the stem. So this is one whole head and then like a third of a second head. Okay, so that's our broccoli. I shredded cheese. Okay, um, I have four ounces of extra sharp, four ounces of regular sharp cheddar, and then I have a little bit of Monterey Jack in there, okay? Just a little bit of that. Put in it, use any kind of cheese you want. All right, that's ready, y'all. That is ready, and what we're gonna add to that is some chicken broth, and we're gonna also add our broccoli and our seasonings, okay? Mm, 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 mm. See that roux there? See how it's changing colors? Yes. Let's add. We're probably going to use this whole container, y'all. In fact, I know we will. This broccoli is going to cook. We're going to let this broccoli cook a good 10, 15 minutes. We want it to get tender. And this liquid is going to thicken up. Let's put our broccoli in and then we'll put in our seasonings. Some pieces are bigger than others, but it's going to get soft because we're going to blend this just a little bit. I don't want to blend it until it's like the broccoli has disappeared because we want to know the broccoli is in there. But we're going to blend it just a little bit, okay? Yes. See, I didn't cut that one too small. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, making a mess, y'all. I'm making a mess. It's all good. Let's put all that broccoli in there. All right. Let's put in some seasonings. Clean up behind ourselves. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. We're going to use some sea salt. And I haven't forgotten about the potatoes. They will go in. It's not ready yet for the potatoes. It's a little bit of sea salt. Use as much as you think you need to use. Okay. I'm gonna also put a smidge of nutmeg, y'all. Tiny, tiny bit of ground nutmeg. Just a smidge. And 
I make this soup a couple of times every year. Black pepper, because we love it. Okay, and I think that's it. If you want to add any other seasonings, now I do have some bay leaves. I'm going to put one in, just one. If you want to add anything else in here, knock yourself out. I'm going to drop a bay leaf down in there. And we'll remember to pull it out. So we're going to let this come to a boil. Let this broccoli cook. And we'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. We're going to go ahead on and we're going to add in our half and half. This has cooked for about 10 minutes. The broccoli is not where I want it. But we can go ahead on and put our milk in. Okay. Let's pour with this hand. And we're just going to let it simmer. until that broccoli is where we want it, okay? Oh, y'all. And it wouldn't hurt to taste this, okay? Just make sure you have enough salt. Oh, baby. We're gonna let it simmer. All right, y'all, while that beautiful soup is simmering, I have some soft, soft butter here. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic, granulated garlic in it, okay? You can also put some um, dry parsley in it, okay? If I can reach mine, we'll use it. <laughs> Okay, I got it, y'all. Let's see. This one here is hard to open. Yeah, I'm struggling with the parsley. There we go. She's Louise. Okay, I don't know even know if y'all can see me over here. I'm sorry if you cannot. Okay, and we're just gonna mix it together. Yes, I could have used a larger bowl, it's all good. Okay, I'm gonna mix it together and we're gonna spread it on our bread. Mm. Spread it. Just wanna make sure that that garlic is all through that butter. All right, there we go. And now we just take a little butter knife and spread it on our bread. Okay. Spread. Oh, MG, y'all. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I'm not going to put it on broil. I'm just going to put it on bake and let it take its time. That way it'll take care of both sides. It's going to be some good bread, y'all. Mmm. one of the ends in here too. Yes, I do. It's a little bit of love too. There we go, y'all. Okay, this bread's gonna go in the oven. I'm gonna put it in there at 400, okay? And then we're gonna come back and take care of this beautiful soup, all right? I'm gonna check this broccoli. I don't want it to cook in, in, into mush. Let's get that bay leaf out because we're going to blend it. All right. We're going to blend it.
Yeah, it's soft enough, y'all. We're gonna blend it. Be right back, y'all. All right, I got a little hand blender here that we're gonna use, okay? This would be the easiest thing rather than taking it and putting it into a blender, okay? We're gonna use this, and like I said, I don't want to blend it the broccoli all the way down, okay? I just want a, a little bit. Y'all, these here are real handy to have. Look at that bro. It's just broccoli soup for the moment, y'all. Uh-oh. Don't do that, y'all. I think I got too much in it. Mm-hmm. Alright, y'all. I'm fumbling. Don't worry about that. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's turn this on. Pull the plug on that. Look at that, y'all. Mm, see? And, and you can even use a masher. I'm going to go back in with that blender just for a little bit, y'all. A little bit, but we want to keep some of this broccoli in here, okay? You can even use a potato masher, like I was saying. Especially if you don't want to blend this up until it's like liquid. All right? I'm going to blend just a little bit more. All right, y'all. I blended it just a smidgen more, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're going to take these potatoes. I did not want them in here when I blended this, okay? I did not want my potatoes. I want them to kind of hold a little bit of body. Oh, y'all. Okay, and the only thing we have left to do, well, first I need to taste this. I need to taste it. Only thing we have left to do is put our cheese in. Mm, 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 mm. That's good, y'all. That is good. It can use just a smidgen more salt. And it ain't going to be that much because I got to put that cheese in here, right? Okay. Now, here is our cheese. Really only need about eight ounces. I got a little bit more than eight ounces here. See what that looks like, y'all. My, my, my. And now, you can cut this off. This cheese is going to melt on its own. We're going to put the rest of that in now. Hmm. Yes, it is broccoli and cheese. Okay. That's it, y'all. That simple. That simple. We're going to let that cheese melt, and this is done. I'm going to plate this up for, for you all, and get a piece of that bread. Y'all, look at that. And I still got pieces of broccoli in here, which is beautiful. It's exactly what I want. I'm going to clean up here, y'all. We'll come back with a bowl of this broccoli cheddar soup. All right, y'all. Let's plate this. Look at that beautiful broccoli cheddar soup. Let's put it in a bowl, y'all. My, my, my. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y'all see that beautiful soup? Carrots, broccoli, the potatoes. All right, y'all. This is going to be scrumptious. All 
All right, let's get something to eat this with. Now, I, I could use a little bit more black pepper in mine, y'all. And here is our bread. I did flip it over just to get a little color on the back. But y'all, I want some more of that butter on mine. Okay, yes, just a little bit more of that butter. Mm. This is that crunchy bread, y'all. Crunchy bread. Thank y'all so much. Let's taste this soup. Cause they're waiting. They are waiting, y'all. I want y'all to see this soup. Okay, yes. They are waiting. Look how creamy that soup. Oh my goodness gravy. Look how creamy it is, y'all. On a nice cool day. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is good. You can taste them. Oh my goodness. The extra sharp. But it's not too pungent, right? Because I mixed it. Mmm. That's good, y'all. That is good. Get in there and make this soup. It takes you all about 30 minutes to actually cook it, okay? Do your prep. And put it on the stove, all right? And it won't take long. Y'all, this is good. You don't have to go to Panera Bread. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is it right here. This is it right here. And if I might say so, it's better. Because you get to put what you want in it, right? Yes. Mm. Y'all, thank you for joining me. Remember to like, share my videos, comment, and subscribe, okay? I'm going to be back real soon with another video, okay? Yes, I will see you all real soon. Bye-bye, y'all.